Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Kushbu and in this video we are going to see the question best time to buy and sell stock with cool down. You are given an array prices where prices of i is the price of a given stock on ith day. Find the maximum profit you can achieve. You may complete as many transactions as you like that is buy one and sell one share of stock multiple times with the following restrictions that after you sell your stock you cannot buy on the next day that is cool down for one day. You may not engage in multiple transactions simultaneously. Here are a few examples given to us and we'll see one of them in our video. So let's go ahead and see how we can solve this question. Now suppose there is a stock broker that is performing all the transactions on stock that is either buying a stock, selling a stock or holding that stock for the cool down period mentioned. So over here we'll have three states. One is whether I have sold a stock. Second is whether I am currently holding a stock or whether I am in a reset state that is the cool down period. Now let's see how all these states are going to be affected with each day. So here are all the three states and now we can say that a person can go into the sold state after selling a stock which means that he was in the held state, he sold the stock that were held by him and then went into the sold state. So now that person does not have any stock. From sold state he needs to rest and thus bringing him into a reset state. So over here he can either be in a reset state that is a rest state or he can buy the stock and go into the held state. Now in the held state also a person can rest in the same state while holding the stock and not selling that stock. So that is going to be being in the held state. So this is how a state change by performing one of the actions that are eligible. Now, what happens in these states is that whenever you are selling the stock, you get or you attain that particular price at which you sold the stock. So you can say that after selling a stock, I am getting this price amount of money. So I can add this price while I am going into the sold state. So the sold state is going to be the addition of the amount I had in held state plus the price that I got by selling the stock. What about the reset state? The reset state is just the rest period. So it will be the maximum of the reset period that was earlier there or the sold state that have been achieved in the previous transaction. So that would be either the price that I have in the sold state or the price that I have in the reset state. Now for going into the held state I need to buy some stock. So I am going to pay some price to buy a stock. So that price is going to be deducted from the price that I have in my hand. And so this minus price comes over here. Looking into this the held state equation can be formed by either reset state minus price for buying a stock or the value that I already had in the held state because I have decided that I'll not buy the stock but I'll hold or I'll rest on this particular day. So that is either of both of these values whichever would be maximum we could consider that. So this was all about how the price changes when we move from one state to another. And this diagram is nothing but the state machine diagram or the state diagram for buying and selling these stocks. So this is something that we are going to use in the current question and we will solve the problem. So now let's just recap on what we saw. We can have three states sold, held and reset at each and every day. And we need to find the maximum profit that we can achieve. So we are going to update all the states and see what is the maximum that we can attain. So sold will be held plus price and this held is the previous held and this price is the current price of the stock 
that I am selling. So this is price of I. Held state is nothing but the maximum of these two. So maximum of either the previous held state that is held of I minus 1 or the reset minus price state. So this reset is the previous reset which is reset of I minus 1 and the price is the current price at which I am buying the stock. So this becomes price of I. Reset of I or the reset state is maximum of either the previous reset state or the sold state that I have currently achieved or just achieved. So that is nothing but reset of I minus 1 or the sold of I minus 1. So now let's take the example and try to draw in this approach. Initially sold and held will have a minimum value assigned to them while reset will be at 0 and this reset point is the starting point for our problem because at this point of time we are not holding a stock or we have not sold any stock. So what we have with us is 0. For moving into one or the other states we need to follow certain conditions that we saw in the previous diagram. That is we can go from sold state to reset state or we can go from held state to either sold state or be in the held state itself. From the reset state we can either go to held state or we can be in reset state itself. So these are shown by the arrows that are present over here. And now for all these state changes we had the formulas that we saw in the previous slide. So now let's see the calculation for this part. Sold of i is held of i minus 1 plus the current price which will give us minimum because this value over here is min. Held of i is the maximum value of the previous held or reset of i minus 1 minus the price that is by buying the stock. So if I buy the stock I get 0 minus 1 which is minus 1 and maximum of min and minus 1 is minus 1 so we put minus 1 over here. What about reset? Reset will be maximum of previous reset or selling the stock so which gives us maximum of 0 and min which is 0. So this is how we got all these values. Moving ahead to the next one, we'll again calculate these values. So my sold of i becomes held of i minus 1 which is this minus 1 plus price of i because I am selling this stock at current price which gives me 1. Held of i is maximum of previous held or reset minus price which means buying the stock at current price. So that gives me minus 1. Reset value is maximum of previous reset or sold of previous one that we have seen. So that gives me maximum of 0 and min which is 0. Similarly if we keep doing we will get this for the current index at which we are at. So sold of i now becomes minus 1 plus 3 which is 2 held of i is maximum of previous value or buying the stock at current price which will give me maximum of minus 1 or minus 3 which is minus 1. Reset of i is maximum of previous reset or previous sold price which gives me maximum of 0 and 1 which is 1. So moving ahead if you keep doing this you will get the values filled in as follows. And now what is the output for this particular solution. The output is going to be the maximum of either the sold value or the reset value that we are going to get at the end. Because at the end we can either be in a sold state that we have just sold the stock or we can be in a reset state wherein we are resting or cooling down. We cannot have a stock with us at the end and say that this is the maximum profit that I have. No. It has to be the maximum of sold and reset. So over here this gives us 3 and if you see this is the path that we have followed which means that I was at the reset state I bought the stock at 1 and then I sold it at 2. Then I was in a cool down period when the stock was at this particular price and then I bought it at 0 and sold it at which gave me a profit of 
this 2 minus 1 plus 2 minus 0 equivalent to 3 and that's the maximum profit that we could have achieved here. So that was all about the question and the dry run of the approach that we are going to use. Now let's go ahead and see the coding part. So as we saw in the dry run, we have the initial values for sold, held and reset state. So let's take those. Now we are going to loop on the prices array. Let's take the previous price or the previous sold price in a variable and now take all the other states. So sold becomes held plus current price which means that I am selling the stock at this particular price. My held state will become maximum of the previous held or buying the stock at current price which means I was at the reset state and I bought the stock at price P and finally the reset state would be the maximum of either the previous reset state or the previous sold. Finally we need to return the maximum of either the sold state or the reset state and that's it. Let's try to run this code and it's giving a perfect result. Let's try and submit it and it got submitted. The time complexity for the solution is O of n for this particular loop and the space complexity is just O of 1 because we only have the variables with us. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did then please do not forget to click the like button and also the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet. And I'll see you in another one. So till then, keep learning, keep coding.